folks, this is Grease Gotham. This will be a 10 second respawn delay for the defense. Defense, of course, being uh, the resistance on this map. And the initial spawn wave is normal. But whenever anyone on the resistance dies, that's when we're going to see them uh, basically switch out uh, to, to that uh, 10 second delay. So we got Vox setting up, trying to get a nice little angle here on the incoming. Oh, it's coming under fire. I think I can finally up, up my uh, game sounds, actually. I had them lowered. Let's see, what is it? Uh, let's make it like that. There we go. Okay. Had them lowered earlier. So, yeah, we're going to basically try to see if, if this will make it possible for the offense to set a time. Uh, and I'm actually going to follow around, just hop around. Um, yeah, just a reminder that uh, if you're respawning on resistance, make sure you're just hanging out for about 10 seconds. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's turn on resistance now. I'm secured. I'm over there waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's only for the D. So yeah, it's actually pretty sweet. We are, we are seeing the security pressing in, and I'm a little bit curious. I'm actually going to hop around until I find someone in the spawn and just kind of hang out there, uh, or somewhere near the spawn, maybe. There we go. Yeah, yeah, see? Look at that. Check that out. Right there. They're, they're waiting, right? And then boom, they're going to go in just a few seconds. There they go. And so let's see if this delay allows for a plant. Ooh, I actually spawned outside of the map. That's kind of cool. Yep, here's a plant. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Two minutes in and we have a plant. So, yeah, this is what I'm really excited about because, um, you know, obviously this will take some tweaking. I, I think one of the concerns is, you know, 30 seconds is a really long time just for the overall respawn time. And since right now the, the default is 20, uh, you know, adding 10 seconds equals 30. Uh, uh, maybe the thing to do is to maybe decrease the offense respawn time by five seconds and increase defense respawn time by five seconds. So that, again, you still have that 10 second buffer. That's really what we need. But look at this. Uh, because security had a chance to set up, we're going to see this plant go down and explode. And it happened within a reasonable amount of time. You know, again, in a lot of uh, earlier Quake Wars, uh, enemy territory Quake Wars games and in um, enemy territory itself, um, you had, you know, you had times that were, you know, roughly, you're looking for like 10 minute games. That's, it's really what you want. You want 10 minute times. And that really makes a huge difference uh, because then, you know, A, you're not waiting 40 minutes per round, um, per set rather. Um, you know, that, that can be really frustrating for the teams who just friggin' want to, you know, basically see if they can set a better time. So I'm actually hoping that we see security win in about 10 minutes here. That, that is my overall hope. But so far, 10 seconds is looking pretty good. Again, I'm going to hop over and see if we have any resistance waiting. We had a couple people just die. Let's see if we can find them just chilling and spawn. Looks like Max, most of them are up. So, okay, that's cool. Nice use of the Lazarus grenade. Uh, I don't recall if we've turned off command post buffs. We tried to leave this as vanilla as possible, in fact. Uh, this was a, a conscious decision. Because we, we want to basically say, okay, you know, it's really cool that ESL has all these rules that are very restrictive. But um, we would rather see if playing the vanilla game, or pretty close to it, like I, I think we're doing like honor system in terms of mind deployment and shit like that. But honor system wise, you know, um, maybe just reducing the number of mines that are being tossed down by the defense. Uh, then see if that actually turns into, you know, something that... Uh, makes this game playable in terms of competition. So hopefully this will be useful to splash damage in uh, trying to figure out, you know, what is uh, what is worthwhile. Looks like we're having really good medic training here by the resistance, so they are essentially escaping uh, the need to spawn back. Uh, here's here's Appleton B. Um, yeah, but, uh, you know, so far, so good. Still 15 minutes on the clock, and that, I have to say, has got to be a rarity for this, for this particular uh, uh, map. I don't think I've ever seen the escort uh, gotten to that early. 
Uh, of course, we'd love to see this with actual team versus team, but uh, so far so good. Okay, now here's a bit of a lull. Yeah, here we are seeing a bit of a lull. A oh, couple of guys. Let's see if I can... S yeah, here we go. We got Appleton chilling, waiting his 10 seconds. Does he have anyone around him? No, it looks like he's the only guy that, that died uh, in that wave. So I'm actually going to go out and fly around a little bit. Because, yeah, here we're basically trying to make it so that there's a you know, goddamn cost to dying for the defense. Um, there really has not been uh, in Brink up till now. So we're hoping that a 10 second buffer in defense uh, respawn is, is enough. I think right now, though, um, you know, pretty good medic training and, uh, and coverage of the objective is working out just fine. Yeah, let me just die here. I was gonna let him kill me, but. All right, so here's Apocalypse trying to get the escort on the move again. Looks like um, a lot of the security guys have pushed out. Yeah, look at that. They've they've pushed the battle forward, so this is really important. We're gonna start see some see resistance try to retake, and let's see what kind of deaths we get here. Bios aren't going around. This is actually really nice that he's going around for this angle. Getting a little bit of flanking. Oh, hang on, Riddick. Riddick just cuts. Just spotted these guys. Let's see if he can take out two. No, he cannot. So, resistance says he's gonna hold the hold the guy. Let's see where is that. Yeah. Um, but right now, honestly, just as a spectator, I'm more excited about this game right here. Even though it's, it's sort of pickups, you know, I want to say thank you to everyone on this list for opting to to spend a, you know an hour with me, getting everything configured and, and getting everyone on board and and everything. I really appreciate the help here because. Um, you know, I'd, I'd love to see uh, when we flip sides here. Uh, you know, I, I want to start seeing time set and beaten, damn it. Uh, this is supposed to be a stopwatch game, so Apocalypse Pony needs to get a little bit of help from his friends. Um, Thunder Muffin, you know, again, a really strong player here, and, and he's he's been able to hold down this position pretty well. They're going to have to deal with him. Uh, in fact, Inferno may have just done that. Let's, nope, can't quite get him down. I thought maybe in the um, in the flashbang it might have happened. Thunder Muffin is still surviving here. Uh, finally going down. Uh oh. Self reviving. This is something that uh, is a hot topic. Um, but quite frankly I, I'm on the fence about self reviving. I don't mind it to be quite honest because I feel like you know damn it you, you should give the guy. You know, it, it, it If you're aiming well then the kill should leave you with enough bullets. I found a kill should leave you enough bullets in your carb nine. Nice, nice play by Appleton. Leave you enough bullets in your carb nine to, to get the kid. You know, yes, you'll have to reload after that, but um, that to me is kind of the quintessential thing. I also like to see maybe defense. Yeah, pushing out with Inferno. This is, you know, granted you come under fire from from this ramp, but uh, I think we need to see some flanking going on. And we're gonna take down these resistance guys. Because, yeah, ponies just keep pressing this one spot and he's getting his face owned. So, this might be the case where one team is just flat out better than the other. But, hey, at least, you know what, we're, we're, not, we're, you know, we're stu not stuck up on is the goddamn plan objective. At least we got past that. So, I'm going to actually fly out to the. Oh, I'm stuck in the ceiling. Hang on. Now I'm going to go flying out. Oh, really? Really? There we go. Now I'm going to go flying out to. Uh, to the resistance spawn. I'm, I'm just going to go check this out. We're just going to sit here and watch the spawn for just a second for, for people hopping in. Uh, and just making sure they are actually waiting their 10 seconds. Again, this is just an honor system thing, and I, I'm not too upset if people aren't waiting. It is hard to remember. You know, you just you have this reflex to just go. But yeah, you can see, yep, no Bung is about to deploy. He's been waiting for about 10 seconds. There it is. And I'm going to see, uh, just based on the kills, though, uh, how many are actually responding back? Here's two. Okay, this is actually pretty important. Uh, so we've got two guys out now. So we might actually see the hostage moving forward because Thunder Muffin and Appleton B are you know pretty decent shooters. You can see them moving. And look at that. Yep, and uh, they even got it down to the science where they are using the the game clock to make sure that they are waiting just the right amount of time. Uh, do we have any movement with this uh, hostage? No, he has not been revived yet. So it looks like. Uh, Voke here has been able to hold down the fort. There comes Apocalypse Pony. And have they, no, okay, here we go, though. 
Apocalypse should be able to come up here. I don't think he realizes that this is clear. He's, he's almost scared to come around the corner. Go, dude. Go. Go revive. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. There it is. He waited too long. Now he's dead. He's been two on one. And they've retaken their positions. But look at that, though. Look at the lull that happened. This is really important. You know, I think what we're seeing right now is, is one team is a little bit better than the other. But look at the the space of time. The opportunity is really what we're looking for. Uh, there's an opportunity here for the security to have moved this um, escort. And they just didn't quite have their ducks in a row. They didn't quite have the, the coordination. And again, you know, these guys are just on vent and they're using in-game VoIP and all that kind of stuff. So, or TeamSpeak, rather. Um, and using in-game VoIP. So, um, again, it, it, the, the major thing, while they didn't get the hostage moving, we did see a lull of at least five seconds or so where, quite frankly, they, they really could have gotten him moving with a little bit more coordination. So... You know, that, that's what we're looking for. That's the kind of uh, stuff that we that we want to see. So I'm actually going to hop back out. Let's see if I can go find... Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to go see who's who's dying here on on the defense. Whoops, who's dying here on the defense and having to wait? Yeah, I, I love how diligent these guys have been uh, about kind of a. Again, these are just not in uh, rules enforced by the server. These guys are actually having to sit there and wait ten seconds before they roll out. So. Um, you know, it's really nice to see that, that they are uh, adhering. Oh, here we go. Biosnark and Vocal are out. Uh, or, or Voc. Vokev? I don't know. Um, should be deploying in just a few seconds. There they go. All right. Ooh, actually, oh, that's three out. All right. Let's see if now if we've got uh, this guy on the move. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of movement. Does he have any pips? pips? Out of pips. Yeah, you can hear that. They, they got to revive. Need to get a revive on the out. escort. Anybody? Anybody? There it is. Okay. Look at that. But now, of course, they're about to hit the hardest part of this map. We've seen this many times over. Um, yeah. But uh, this is... Maybe... Oh, they got two nades. Or no, actually, that's that's just a bottle. Excuse me. I thought that was a nade sitting on the ground. Yeah, Riddick, though, keeping this guy moving, he's, he's about to get two on ones, though. Inferno rejoining him just in time. Can he use his flashbangs and mollies to get things moving? Riddick smartly trying to stay alive. Uh, Hardbean getting the escort up. They need to um, push up, though, and clear this top of the ramp. Uh, we're not going to see hardly any movement. This turret's about to lock onto the target. Just a few seconds. Uh, nades are falling short. Good use of cover here. Inferno that has flanks, and he's taken down Voke. So this is a really nice, really nice moment here that we're seeing. Inferno getting the gib as well, taking out another Appleton B, getting mollied, and Inferno and and uh, it's actually gonna be Kank. Now let's see, getting a kill here. So let's see, Kank is still on security. So yeah, we should see this guy getting up. It's all Thunder Muffin, or excuse me, no, who is this? No, Bunga. Yeah, I don't know why I said Thunder Muffin. Oh, that's why. There, there's Thunder Muffin. I knew I saw him somewhere. Um, but look at this. Escort. Six minutes left. Already able to get up the ramp. This is fantastic stuff to see. And we should see uh, Resistance start having their respawn reinforced in just a few seconds. Inferno again pushing the flank. I like it. Here they come. Three guys coming up the stairs. All clear here. They're coming up. They're checking. Uh, Pony goes down. Thunder Muffin under fire by two. Re revive. No, Pony goes down again. Uh, Inferno, though, needs to... Uh, he wishes that he could revive. Oh, we actually seen some event play by Biosnark. And there's the revive. Oh, but the guy on the, uh, on the escort gets killed. Inferno doing a good job staying alive. Riddick backing him up. Um, Riddick's going to try to climb the trenches here. And there's one. Can Hardbean get the shot in? Escort's on the move. 530 left. Escort's going to need another revive. Hardbean getting a little bit of help from Riddick. Riddick getting the 
Right, and here it is. They're trying to press in. Inferno taking the corner and gets pushed down by Apple and B. But again, this escort is on the move. They're about to turn the corner. They've at least gotten up the ramp. And uh, I'm pretty excited to see this, quite frankly. Uh, oh, wow. Mr. Uh, Nobunga got stomped. Uh, tried to get a stomp in. And Inferno is able to get in and kill him as he's trying the melee. So five minutes left, guys. We might actually see a time set here. Getting pretty excited. Hard beam. Uh, not able to get on it. Get up. And uh, Riddick unable to get the... Uh, Ooh, Thunder. Good lord, Thunder Muffin. Are you up here? Yes, he is. Okay, Thunder Muffin from above, getting two down and about to take down the escort. But look at that, guys. Four minutes and 45 seconds left on the clock. And look at this. We got, ooh, one, two, at least two waiting out. This is fantastic. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe it might just be a 10-second buffer is what's needed on Aquarium. Because, uh, I mean, to me, this feels like, you know, with, with actual teams, we would definitely see a time set. Again, you know, we're just sort of doing pugs right now, uh, but we're going to try to do tests tomorrow with actual teams. Uh, I'm going to try to coordinate that, uh, and, and if we can work that out, I mean, I really, I'm just, I'm excited because this just feels like so much more of an even game. You know, it's no longer just a straight, oh, let's get stuck on the first fucking objective. They need to get a uh, health buff on the escort here. No, he's down. No bunga. Let's see. Riddick, not able to get the shot on Thunder Muffin. Pony, about to get taken down. No, he's actually able to take down Nabunga. And he cannot self-revive. This is actually pretty good. Apple and B, though, has cleared. So, very nice. We do see a lot of deaths, so I'm actually going to hop around and see if I can find someone waiting to spawn. They're about to respawn in just a few seconds. Uh, anyone? Resistance? Resistance dead? Yeah, here we go. So, do we have any... No, okay. Thunder Muffin holding it down. Goes... Able to take down uh, Hard Bean. Oh man, yeah. Good job by Appleton and Thunder Muffin. And there's the reinforcements um, that we saw waiting out at spawn. Appleton is going to get mollied. Inferno, though, taking down one. Not quite taking down two. But Pony might be able to get down and get the revive in. Yeah, there it is. So, and there's the Gip. No Bunga. And can Inferno get up? No, he's going to get knocked over. Nice use of melee by No Bunga. I like that, and there's the stomp. Very well played, very well played indeed. To get the uh, get the clean up there, cleaning crew. Uh, so where are we at with this? Where's this damn guy? Yeah, he's still sitting here. Okay. Uh, two minutes and forty-three seconds. But look how close we are, guys. Look how close we are. This is fantastic. Um, and we're gonna see if this time can be beaten when we flip sides. That's really gonna be the real test. Because a lot of times you'll see. Um, you know, kind of the better team still getting hold, uh, hell, still getting held, still getting held, um, simply because there's such a defensive bias. So I'm really curious once we see things uh, uh, swap for these two teams. If I mean, I, what I'm hoping to see is that Thunder Muffin's team just wins and wins within like maybe you know 12 minutes. That, that's what I would love to see. That to me says that this 10 second respawn delay really does have an impact and it's, and it's significant enough where, uh, quite frankly, the better team should be setting times. You know, they should be setting times of 10 to 12 minutes. That is kind of the goal that we are looking for. And I mean, I, I, as far as I'm concerned, like I am as a spectator just far more excited to watch this match than anything that we've seen so far on Brink TV. Uh, and by the way, I will be posting the, this game and, and the VOD up. Uh, up on uh, Brink TV just because I, I want to show off these tests. I'm really excited about this. Um, and I might even go get a co-host if someone's around because uh, I, I want to, you know, in make this something really interesting for people to talk about, not just me just waxing over and over about how excited I am that we're not on the fucking plant objective. So um, I like this. I actually wish that Voku stayed. Uh, where he was. Oh, actually, setting up a turret. Excuse me. But I, I like that he was hanging back here behind cover. I think he's exposed himself a little bit too much, maybe. He's not going past the doorway, though, so, you know, that's kind of the key thing. Yeah, just really good um, battle sense and use of the corners there. Good use of cover. The objective has not moved in the last uh, couple of minutes, but we got a lot closer than I think we ever would have gone had uh, we not had this 10-second delay, so... Again, we're going to see uh, teams flip in just a few seconds, and we will see how that uh, pans out. So, take a look at the XP Thunder Muffin, 5,700, nicely played. XP doesn't mean much, but every now and then I like to just look at the pretty numbers. Oh, here we go, here we go. Thund yeah. 
Can we maybe get a little revive action? They're all trying to come up this back way. Oh, Thunder Muffin just shutting everything down. Oh, it's painful. It's painful. Look at these, all these bodies. Oof. Down they go. So 13 seconds. Uh, hard Bean going in straight revive. Gets him up. Runs away. Runs into a turret. Down he goes. Turret's going to take out the objective in just a second. And that'll do it. 3, 2, 1. Okay. So I'm excited. I'm excited, though. We'll see if uh, time can be set. Uh, Excellent, brother. By the, the <laughs> what was home. currently the defense. Now I'm going to go see if I can get a co-host for this, because this is actually turning into something fun. So. Okay. Um, you, got, you guys all on uh, TeamSpeak still? Still got that plugged in? Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, from a spectator perspective, that was awesome. Uh, can I get feelings from... Well, first of all, from, from the defense, did you feel like you were really handicapped with 10 seconds, or what? Actually, no. I felt kind of fine with a 10-second cap. Okay. Any, anyone else thoughts? Oh, I did it, too. It made it a lot uh, more strategic. Sweet. Okay. Uh, and then offense, did you feel like you had at least a lot more opportunities um, to, to get things done? Because I, what I noticed were, like, there were at least, uh, well, and there were actually a number of situations where I think with a little bit more coordination, I mean, I know that you guys haven't really played together before, with a little bit more coordination, there were times where there was at least a lull where security, I mean, rather, resistance wasn't completely set up, and uh, there were actually spaces where, you know, the objective could have been advanced. Um, can I get your thoughts, though, your feedback? Thought? Yeah, you definitely know felt like the opportunity was there. You, you weren't just boned all the time with constant uh, spawning. Yeah, like a Sweet. lot of times you get camped from that elevator room, you know, and mm -hmm. you're coming out of your spawn, and that wasn't happening. So, cool. I think that was good. All right. Uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, F3 it up, and we'll play out uh, the rest of this map uh, now that we flip sides. Uh, also, like, I definitely think on that first objective, when we cleared it, it was like plenty of time to plant and set yeah. up and everything. Exactly. That yeah. felt really good. That that did feel really good. So I actually organize our own defense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have time to set up, yeah. All right, guys. GLHF. All right, so once again, guys, this is the second half of a stopwatch match. Don't forget to wait uh, next spawn, guys. Um... We're basically, we're doing a plus 10 uh, honor system imposed respawn delay for the resistance whenever they die. Uh, initial spawn is played out normally. Oh, excuse me. And um, so anyway, we're, we're going to see if uh, if the security team, who actually was able to full hold uh, 20 minutes, but um, I, I feel like that maybe they're just a little bit uh, tighter coordination. If I bring up the scoreboard, you'll see that uh, um, you know, it's it's a pretty pretty decent uh, group of guys. Appleton B and Thunder Muffin are, are pretty solid. And uh, yeah, Invoke, I almost forgot. And and Invoke, who I've only only seen him for a couple of nights, seems like he's he's got his stuff together. So, uh, look at this boom already planted. Yeah, this is even faster than the other. Nice use of uh, positioning by Riddick though, stopping that plant. And this is what we want to see. We want it to be, uh, you know, kind of close chances. Giving though not happening. Let's see if I can get over to that objective room. And my free fly real quick here. Um, giving was a little bit late there, so opportunities. Looks like resistance has it up now. This is going to be really fun, is to see um, if security can get a clear on this objective. And then, you know, given that clear, uh, I'm hoping that we see a plant. Um, you know, because that's what you would friggin' expect, right? Um, so we'll, we'll see. The next wave should be coming in. Uh, let's see which way they're coming in. Thunder Muffin looks like coming in high back, maybe. Yeah, high and back. Okay, so two two guys going back. We've got oh, pony about to get oh, but they hit the mine first. Nice placement. Revive? No revive. That's an engineer back there. So pony's gonna defend. Oh, pony's gonna die. And from above, Thunder Muffin still sticking it. Biosnarks with him. Uh, I think Thunder Muffin. Yeah, they're gonna do a little bit of buffing action. Here comes folks. And he's trying to take out a turret. He gets stuck in a corner, runs away, leaves a nade. Down he goes, and looks like uh, resistance is holding, but look at that. Ooh. Ooh, Appleton. Maybe about to plant. 
He's on a mine, he's on a mine, but but he's got he's enough to plant though. The mine was not forward enough, and there's the plant. He's gonna have to die in order to get off of it. Now he just decides to stay and uh, lay as much damage down as he can. Here comes No Bunga. No Bunga goes down, but tosses a nade first. An opportunity here, Inferno. Uh, one of the last guys up holding it down. Trying to trying to check. We've got how much time on this bad boy? 19 seconds. Inferno needs to take down Thunder Muffin. No, he cannot do it. Thunder Muffin saves the day. Tosses a nade. Make sure that the engineer cannot be revived. Folks, we're going to be moving on to the next objective. I think so. I think so. Five seconds before this thing blows. And holy shitballs, Thunder Muffin is holding it down. Oh, baby. Down goes Riddick. And uh, he's going to try to self-revive. But we are moving on, folks. 1657 for that first objective to be blown. This is fantastic. And uh, I'm actually going to try to bring in Matt Guy. So the VOD might go wonky first. And back to the game. All right, I'm back in. There we go. They got the command post. Okay. Let's see if he actually picks up. Okay, guys, so we moved on to the next objective. We got uh, over 15 minutes to complete it. And I'm going to go free fly my ass over to the objective real quick. There we go. Now, the other, other thing I'm noticing is that... Um, it seems like some of the action is a little bit more focused on the objective itself uh, because the defense doesn't have as much of a chokehold on stuff. Uh, so it seems like they're able, you know, like they're basically forced to play uh, wherever the offense is deciding uh, to, to pick fights, which I really like. That, that should happen, you know. It, it shouldn't be completely imbalanced that way, but, it, you know, it, it should be not completely one way. So, again, look at this. Escort, just moving along. Uh, security. I was going to say, where's Thunder Muffin? He's, he's at way up forward. Inferno going to try to hold it down. Um, he actually going to need to use this cover here. Yep, I was going to say, coming out here, he's going to get flanked. Riddim takes him down. And, uh... Coming off. <laughs> Let's see, we got two resistance hanging back, trying to get the damage done on the uh, escort. Riddick helping out his engineered hard beam. They're about to get flanked, though, I imagine. Nope. Looks like they, they got a guy down below to stop that. Ooh, and look at this. We got uh, Apocalypse Pony just chilling out up top. Dropping in, trying to get the kill on Appleton. Whoops, excuse me. I messed up with my camera there a little bit. Yeah, Appleton B is able to hop in and, and get the kill. So, let's go take a look at the progress right of, off, of this guy. Yeah, he's halfway up the map, ah, guys. Crap. 14 minutes. And this is what I, like, remember what I wanted to say. I wanted to see uh, a time set at, like, you know, maybe 10 or 12 minute time. And we're actually on point to do a little bit faster than that. After this, what I want to do is I want to try these settings on a different map. Um, and maybe shuffle teams to see if we can get them as close to even as possible. Because that's really the, the, the real test that we're looking for. Is that, um, is that we have uh, essentially... Oh, objective is stopped by the Snarks looking to defend himself. Is that whenever teams are even, we still want offense to be able to set a time. So, that's the goal. That's what we're heading for. But it seems like 10 seconds is certainly enough to, to make this, uh, you know, pretty key. Um, pretty key uh, difference for this offense, enabled, uh, enabling them to set a time. So, I'm really excited. And wow, look at this. Yeah, they, they completely have this hold, held down with Appleton B up top, uh, denying any access to this entrance for, uh, for the defense. I, we're about to see this thing set. And look at this. This is going to be like eight minutes. It's going to be less than eight minutes. This is fantastic. Um, so again, what we'll do is we're going to do another map and then maybe uh, try to even, even things out a little bit in terms of teams. Uh, I think what we'll do is maybe swap uh, Excellent the lowest man. guy. We freed the hostage on on one team with the highest fight. guy on the other. Now we have terrorist prisoners to Sweet guys, we um, be able to nip this I'd like to go for another map if everyone is up for it, and maybe see if we can um, slightly even out the teams, so that we have. Uh, I want to get the teams as, as close to even as possible because that's really going to be the the telling factor. Um, 
What, what do you guys think yeah. about that? Yeah, I yeah, share it. A little uneven. Uh, but can I get uh, get some feedback in terms of like how that felt? Makes you uh, makes you really need those revives like whenever you go down. Yeah. Because ten seconds is quite a long time. Okay. Yeah, I was much more likely to sit there and wait for a medic than you know tap out. Okay. Cool. Especially as an engineer, you're sitting in the room ready to disarm the thing that you know. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, and actually that's a really good point you're bringing up because normally you could be like, oh, I can tap out and make it back. No problem, right? And now you're like, oh, shit, I really need to think about this. Okay. Uh, guys, yeah, if you want to impose max uh, turrets, that's more than fine. Just coordinate it between yourselves. Um, but I, I think really the mine thing is a lot more important than turrets, to, to be honest. Okay, so just to, as a little bit of a overview of what we're doing here, guys, because I don't know how I'm going to split up these VODs or anything. I might make them... Uh, you know, like more highlights than anything else. But what we're doing is we've got uh, two teams here. These are just volunteers from the community, and we're testing out adding a 10-second respawn delay for the defense. Offense plays out just like normal. As soon as they respawn, they go. But if you're on uh, defense, and in this case, if you're on resistance, then you essentially stand and spawn for about 10 seconds. Now, this is not the case, of course, for the initial spawn. Uh, you know, that one you just go out and run. Um, and right now we're, we're playing with pretty close to vanilla rules. Uh, we've got restrictions to one mine per engineer, um, and, I, and I think a, a total a max of, of two turrets. Um, but those are really the only restrictions that, that we're working with. Um, we basically want to see if adding this 10 second buffer uh, results in times being set. So, um, you know, again, uh, we, we just ran a, an aquarium map and we saw the what I sort of considered the better team, they they set a time and they set a time that was like eight minutes, uh, Matt. And um, whereas they were actually able to hold the other team uh, for for the full twenty. So um, you know that yeah. Sounds like there might have been a slight skill. Right. And and so on this one, we actually took you know, one of the best shooters from the winning team and put him on. Uh, on the other team, we had a little, little bit of a swap. So this should actually be a little bit more even. And so what I'd love to see is, uh, you know, again, we're, we're not doing any sort of de-hacking or anything like that. Um, but I would love to see, you know, when we get a clear, we should see some significant progress for the for the other team. So here, like, here's Nobunga, and he's waiting out in spawn. Let's see if he waits 10 seconds, yeah. And he should be able to go right about now. Or now. There we go. <laughs> Usually helps if I actually count to ten. But anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 and I have to say from an observer perspective, in terms of the action map, this was a lot more exciting. Because, um, like, the feedback I've gotten from, from guys that are, that are playing this, um, rather than just tapping out, they're really waiting for, um, for respawns. I mean, rather, excuse me, revives, rather. And, uh, and of course, you know, so it's, um, it's uh, it really, it, it seems like it's changing the dynamic to what we hope it to be. Yeah, right now, I feel like a death on defense is fairly irrelevant. Exactly. Which... But add 10 seconds to it, and it is. It really is uh, meaningful. So, um,. Now, what, what I'm hoping, though, is rather than just make the, the spawns like a full 30 seconds, that might be a little bit long, you know? Uh, I'd like to maybe see offense shortened by 5 and defense increased by 5. So you still have that 10 buffer. Uh, it really is, is kind of what we're going for. Um, of course, that's going to be something that only splash damage can do. We, we can't test settings like that, so. Indeed. But the feedback so far between last night and tonight is uh, it at least feels right, you know? Like and uh, the better team still won, you know, and still won by a, by a long shot, which is great you know, in in every case that we've done this. Like so, it's not like uh, the the five second delay completely breaks it so that the better team loses. No, that's not happening. Um, I, so I'm just excited, quite frankly. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, I feel like we've all been advocating for this for a while. I know I've been advocating for longer spawns and stuff, and I feel like anyone who pretty much plays competition is on the same page. They're just sort of 
waiting around, twiddling their thumbs right now, sort of waiting for uh, these, this balance change to happen. That being said, look at this. Yeah, we're getting a pretty significant hack, already 30%, and we're only four minutes into this map. Uh, hard bean. And look at this. Yeah, security has time to set up. I mean, this is what I'm... what we've been dreaming for. Um, yeah. I mean, look at that. Uh, they have... They have crossfire set up. They have positions set up. They're defending. Oh my god, and they're gonna fucking finish this too. Look at this. Oh, I'm so excited, man. <laughs> like seriously, this is why I wanted to bring you in here. I'm just, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> we didn't have to spend 20 minutes staring at this hack box. <laughs> This is in a rare uh, feat. We're actually moving past the hack objective on this map. Yeah. So let me see if I can actually get here, here. Yes, yes. No. Why do I always do this? Why do we get lost in this map? I don't know. Uh, you just, yeah, from spawn, you just take like the lower left hand route. Lower left hand route. I don't understand what my problem is. I do know that, like, there's a fucking thing. <sighs> Our defense getting a pretty good setup right now. Yeah, if I can fucking get there, like, I seriously, what is my problem with this map? There we go. That looks familiar. Okay, there it is. Uh, I always forget about that little tunnel. I don't know why, but I do. Because I'm so, retarded. So what are your thoughts on, like, mine and turret restrictions? I like one mine per NG. I think that is a, a great rule. Because I, 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 do, I, I do... I feel like that's, that's not even really a rule. That's, like, an ability. Because you have an ability to get two mines. And as long as... Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, you restrict the two mine ability, you're good. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's... We, we already know that with the way that brings set up, we can actually enforce that via the server. So, you know, like, honestly, if we can... We can just get fucking spawn time changes, um, so that there is... I, I would say, maybe not every objective, but that's why I want to try to play as many maps as we can tonight. Um, if, if we can get something like a good sampling of every map and just see, does 10 seconds break it? Well, if it doesn't, then if we can just get a 10 second buffer, and again, uh, I, I'm not necessarily advocating that we add 10 seconds to defense, but maybe if we decrease offense respawn and increase defense respawns so that there is a buffer of 10 seconds between the two. Uh, I think that might kind of be the sweet spot. So. Um, as far as what I'm seeing right now, look at this. We, we do have a small touch, but we are also not seeing that that the the other team's completely getting rolled. I mean, they did have time to set up. Um, oh, Inferno's about to flank Appleton. Yeah, he's about to get down. So there we go. We should see another touch in this objective. And I, I feel... Um, Again, like I'm, I'm hoping that we see roughly 10 minute times. So the fact that we're already seeing 12 minutes, I mean rather 13 minutes um, on the clock, you know, so seven minutes burned away. That that this feels good to me. Like I want to see those 10 minutes time. Yeah, uh, an interesting thing that I saw is one of the EU tournaments. I forget the name of the exact tournament, but it was a it's a prize tournament um, in Europe. It's like 250 pounds, I think, but they reduced the time limit from 20 minutes to 15 minutes using the ESL rule set. Right. So, I saw that too, yeah. To um, me, that's interesting because I don't think the ESL rule set really changes the gameplay that much. I still mm -hmm. see full holds. I mean, in my mind, anyway, I've, I haven't actually watched a whole bunch the of. It's it's uh, it, it's decent and the, like basically the ESL rules they're removing all the spam, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now actually, I, want, I just want to call out yeah. in this game. Look at this. Resistance has been able to recover, uh, and and set back up. So again, it's not game breaking. They they have the opportunity to retake this room, but we have seen if we could look at the friggin' progress, <clears throat> then you know then we'd probably see that. Uh, I think the safe is probably halfway done, maybe. Maybe, Maybe not, not less. It takes. It yeah. does take a while. That's true. Yeah, it is a pretty long one. But that being said, you know, 11 minutes in, at least we're, you know, what 40% in, I would guess. Um, which is definitely. I don't think we've ever seen this map finished unless the other team got rolled. So. By the way, can I just say I appreciate Inferno, um, on security keeping a turret, here. 
Uh, <laughs> that is interesting. You know, because it, it actually is... It's annoying to get grenades. Oh, look at this. They're actually about to take out Nabunga. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, that's good times right there. Um, that is a good use of that turret, in my humble opinion. Yeah, and security right now getting a full advantage up top. It looks like they are going to hop down here soon. Yeah, but I like that they're not rushing. Good, they are good taking patience. their time and yeah, developing sort of the strategy a little, letting it kind of unfold. And we should see it. Here they go. Here they go. Mine takes out Inferno. Actually, he's not quite dead. Uh, they might have waited a little bit too long. I don't know. Hardbeam is cutting. And I think he's on a mine. I'm not sure. Yeah, here comes the next spawn wave. Yeah, but Thunder Muffin from behind. Look at this. It's covering. Um, we'll be able to get in there and get revives when needed. Inferno should go double up, I think. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, he's disarming the mine. Very nice. Oh, oh he stepped on another mine. one. Oh. Yeah, but still, look at this. They're still alive. They're doubling up. Yeah, this will be done soon. I'm guessing probably another 15 seconds of but, uninterrupted hack time. Look at this. This is perfect because I, oh god, if we can get like 10, 12 minute times, this is so good. This is so good. That's gonna hurt. Doesn't kill anybody though. And there it is, in front of the data key. Let's see if we can follow him. And he's getting shot. Now, I'm also really curious because uh, after the patch, we're going to see this delay in the time it takes to return the data. Thunder Muffin now with the grab. Taken down. And Quake's going to go uh, try to shoot his own teammate, but now they're going to get a return on this thing. Thunder Muffin unable to self revive. And does not have down fire. So, okay. Um, 10 minutes have passed. We're at 9.12 on the clock. And Resistance has had a chance to reset. Um, so I'm kind of excited about this. Now, they don't have mines down yet. Here we go. Here goes Kank to do just that. So we are seeing a setup. Mines. Oh, he's using two mines. Um, I'm actually going to just in here. Please only use one mine per end. Just a reminder, guys, please only use one mine per engineer. Thanks. I got oh. one right now. It's all good, though. It's all good. I also threatened them. <laughs> yeah. You... It's actually, most of these guys already know you, so they, they know that you're fucking around. Uh -huh. uh, you care, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> I love bio. Bio doesn't have a heart. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, Riddick has the data key. Let me see if I can get over to him. So I can find them. Yeah, the spawn wave is just coming out of spawn right now. Yeah. Let's see if I can get. Him. Actually, yeah, they they got two guys waiting. Oh, there he is. Just got it to Riddick. Go back. There he is. Does Riddick sell the data key? I think I think he does. Inferno's yeah. leading. I'm on Riddick's cam here. Um, Inferno leading, and so uh, look at the setting up defenses. This is really nice. Ooh, a little bit of a delay. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. All right. Maybe he's like, I've I've never actually returned the key. I don't know where to go. No, I'm I'm playing. Um, uh, he, he was sticking close to Inferno. Yeah. Didn't want to go off by yeah. himself. But. Yeah, which, which is good. That's really good. But I, I'm I'm wondering if there are literally players who've been playing Brink for the past month and they don't know where to go on this objective. Quite possible. So there it is. We are going to see a time set. 7.17 was left on the clock, so about 12 minutes and 23 seconds. Um, th that to me feels pretty good. Uh, what are your thoughts, Matt? That does feel pretty good. That being said, it really... You can't come to any conclusions until you see the other team do it. If, right. If they're able to get held here for 13 minutes on the first objective, then we really have learned nothing. Right, right. But, but, but I, I will say this. I don't think that we've seen a single maps held on the first objective yet. So, Wait, sorry, I, what? We, we oh, have, with the testing with yes. the with the spawn with with, gotcha. with with plus 10, we have not seen a first objective hold at all. And in fact, right. even with plus 5, um, while we did see uh, the objective advanced even on shipyard, right just got to get another drink. Uh, there there wasn't enough time uh, yeah. to to complete the second, but th that's why we're trying out plus 10. So. I think in my mind, I think a plus 5 is a good first step to take. Right. And potentially have like a plus five type of uh, spawn time added when the leagues go into preseason. 
What's up? Yeah, and by the way, guys, I just want to say thank you for for helping out. This is really cool, actually, um, that we're that we're able to to put this together. So, kind of excited. Not a problem at all if it fixes things. Yeah, that that's my hope. My hope is that I can basically hand off these videos to Splash Evans and say, look, plus ten doesn't break shit. Make it happen. Chop chop. <laughs> I really like plus ten so far. Yeah, like seriously, like just just talk about like the feeling of it. Like, how is that for you guys? Pretty it's sure it's like uh, you clear the room and it counts for something. Yeah. yeah, it's about gameplay, not just trying to fight wave after wave after wave. Yeah, stats will come up with the website, I guess. But uh, actually, um, uh, there's a guy, I am Dan, I think it is. He's working out a console-based, uh, a, a con-dump-based uh, statistics program so that you can basically um, uh, just do con-dumps like stats.txt and then it'll parse the the kills, the deaths, all that crap and uh, and spit out statistics. And it's it's working pretty good. It uh, needs to be run on the server though because as is usual the uh, client only keeps track of certain items depending on their proximity. So that's that's been an issue with every FPS stat collection thing, so that's normal. GLHF. All right, guys, so once again, this is going to be the uh, other half. We actually had a, a replacement uh, cheese spreads come in for, I think it was Voke. Voke had to go, uh, which is a, it's a shame. Can we just fall in slow motion? So it's actually a little bit of a, a change up in, just have to the in sort of the, the team cohesion. So we'll see if, if even with this, uh, yeah, real this switch up, I mean, I can come in it's going to matter. Look at this, though. Security already pressing uh, we got through. Teams. Um, oh, okay. That's why I was I, again, take a look at the, the time to beat was something like uh, 12. You could probably spend. 1240 something. That's all right. I think it was. So you know, we only got 12 minutes for this team to, to try to beat it. Um, so far, uh, we, you know, with the plus 10 added to the defensive respawn, uh, we've seen a pretty significant uh, change in that um, I, I, we have yet to see a game get held on the first objective. So I'm excited about that. Uh, right now, though, I, I feel like this team should do pretty well uh, who is on defense. But here, okay, so here's Appleton about to die. And I'm going to actually go find him. There he is. Oh. No, actually, oh, Appleton's on security, excuse me. I'm gonna go find someone on resistance that's dead. There might not be any. But once they die, I'm gonna try to follow this here. Let's see. Okay, so in front. defense is holding onto it pretty well. Yeah, and, and that actually is to be expected. Okay, like here's, okay, here's Hardbean. Hardbean just respawned. He's gonna be chilling here. For 10 seconds. Yeah. So, so you're just watching a guy chill for 10 seconds. Yeah. Ooh, that's even more like seven or eight seconds. Yeah, you? which which is okay. I mean, seriously though, you know, that you just ruined science. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just stop the match. Yeah, no, um, but seriously, just just that seven seconds is gonna be significant. Um, especially when you start to get you know two or three guys listen, killed. Listen, Greased, I've been playing a lot of Portal Two. If there's one thing I know about, it's accurate test testing. And <laughs> but is there cake? Glados would not approve. Yeah. This. Yeah, yeah. She hates it when people break the rules. Um, but uh, like, just based on based on shot and and skill, I would say that uh, this resistance team is better because uh, I've played with a lot of these guys before. Um, so you know they they should they should win. Um, I would still like to see us get past the hack objective though. In fact, I'm taking a look at. Shit, I locked up. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Just taking a look at the, at the teams. Like, Cheese Spread seems to have an issue with his connection. He's in the red. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> hard hard being down firing like crazy. Finally going to self revive. Oh, they don't see him. This is actually pretty important. He Ooh, self revived. Yeah, cheese bread lagging out. Yeah, so that's going to cause a, a bit of an issue there. 
with uh, security being able to do anything. Do you want to hop in, uh, Matt, and just play for security? Yeah, I would like to do Please that. do, please do. That'll, that'll help out quite a bit. All right. And they're using in-game VoIP, by the way. I don't know if you've got that set up, but hopefully you do. I don't have that set up. Noob. So I will just keep talking to you, walk you through it. <laughs> all right, all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rush this room, select my flashbang. Bam! Flashbang out. Wait, that was Lazarus. I am a medic. <laughs> so, awesome. turns out, I'm, I'm supposed to be a soldier by default, but apparently I switched that. <laughs> Dude, that was, that was pretty epic. That was, uh... <laughs> That was awesome. Alright. Oh, here we go. Almost, almost able to clear this room. Thunder Muffin holding on. Let's see if I can find. I forget you. all my buttons. How did you forget your buttons, man? Please, please explain how you forget your buttons. What is my melee button? I don't know my melee button. I was walking around pressing every button I had, and I don't know what it is. I'm sorry, I've been playing Portal 2 all weekend. And it shows. There you are. Okay. Well, you're on Where? camera now. So. Okay, mouse 4. Okay, that's it. I was pressing all my keys. It was actually bound. Oh, Biosnark joins the spectators. Oh, okay. Oh, I can I can go ahead and leave after I kill everyone. No, no, no. It's... it's uh... Okay, it looks like Kank hopped out, so just stay in. Matt. Okay. Uh, I don't mind leaving. No, 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 uh, go ahead and stay in. I think that'll actually help make things a bit more um, even in terms of skill anyway, having you in. Okay. That being said, we have ruined the scientific research data. Can you guys hear me in TeamSpeak? Yes. Yeah. Alright. By the way, I'm talking in TeamSpeak, Matt. So just, I guess uh, Matt jumped in that pitch. Yeah, so, uh, someone dropped, so he, he just hopped oh. in. Yeah, that was me. I crashed. Okay. Uh, do you want back in, or do you want Matt to stay in? No, he can stay in. Okay. Matty says for you to stay in. Okay. That is appreciated. Tell him that I will bake him a cake. Matt says thank you, and he will bake you a cake. Great. I like cupcakes. I like two of them. He likes cupcakes, Choc and he wants two chocolates, sir. All right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Matt says cool. All right, so the question is, where are the operatives? Mm, your cheese spread is your operative. Okay, we appear to have control of the room. Yeah, stuck spectating. Come on, cheese spread. Go, buddy. Get in there, man. Oh, man, cheese spread's ping is pretty high. You can see it. Like he's walking past doorways and stuff. I don't know if he's the best operative guy to have. Hide, little man, hide! Uh, we're getting some kills? Yeah, we'll keep it up though, because you are hacking. Um, nice. Yeah, let me actually hop out and, and, and free fly a little bit here. So yeah, I, seriously, I, I have a feeling we're, we're going to be moving on at least to the second objective. Uh, kind of excited about that. Wow, look at this mess. Appleton holding it down. Nice support. Yeah, yeah, we're moving on to the next objective. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I like it. I like it. Inferno was trying to be a sneaky little bastard. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, he can be. I was sure to not call that out. I wanted to have it actually Thunder Muffin out. also trying to sneak around. Mm-hmm. Killed them. <laughs> so, okay. Plus ten. Gets us past the first objective. Pretty... Uh, this is taking a while, though. Well, I, he, it's just one operative, and he's not right on top of it. Yeah, that is a force four bars from where he is. And That's I correct. want to point out that splash damage wants to increase the time on hack objectives. Right. Yeah. But, so, consider that. But now, remember, we have a 12-minute time to beat here, and we are moving on to the next objective. So, um... And like I said, I feel like having you... Uh, I felt like that took like two minutes of him hacking. We had to yeah. hold off the to spawn waves even at 30 seconds. Yeah. So let me see if I can actually fly my way over. Let's see. Is it Why do I get lost? Like seriously, what is wrong with me? Uh, through here. And then here. Yes. 
Okay, I seem to remember the red fucking Tijin Moon sign, and then I'm good to go. All right. Oh, I'm excited. I'm actually learning this map as a spectator, finally. Okay. So the question is, can you guys crack the safe? I feel like if you crack the safe, this is pretty solid. Oh, Matt, you're gonna get shot in the head. Riddick got you. <laughs> yeah, I was reviving myself. It was worth it. All right, my goal is actually just to win this map. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill everybody. It's a new strategy I've been working on. Okay, yeah, I I know that you. Yeah, uh, that works. I know you've been trying to work that out as much as possible. <laughs> All right, so uh, actually we have a pretty, pretty decent push by Securita. And Appleton cutting. Flashbang, yay. Question is, can Matcom do the hero hold mode? Uh oh, he's got to take down two. Oh, I'm dead. Uh oh, the engineers need to pay attention. Biosnark not checking his six. Down he will go. Been double teamed. Engineers have been cleared off the objective, but they are still alive. This is fantastic. Uh, three minutes left to go. Cheese spread is in leaving spawn. Oh, he's just disconnected. Okay. Uh, hey, Kink, can't go ahead and hop in. Cheese spread just dropped. Gonna give some hand signals right. to Kink. Let him know that he's coming back. Yeah, I just I got him on team speed. Uh, security, okay. Yes, please. All right, so it looks like Thunder Muffin, Hardbean, and Inferno are able to, and along with Riddick, I don't want to leave him out, have been able to uh, set up again. So two minutes, 18 seconds. But we are at least getting cuts into this safe. I'm kind of excited about that. Definitely back up, yes. The question is, in two minutes, can we crack this safe? I feel like if that happens, this is pretty good, considering uh, the kind of team hopping we had to see. <laughs> nice. Oh, Inferno got you. Yes. God damn it. Turns out my weakness is the bullets. <laughs> Folks, uh, we're just cutting it. And actually, yeah, we got uh, a couple of guys respawning on resistance. So, uh, not not a full wave in here right now. Hard being trying to survive. He should be pulled down. There it is. Actually, Appleton with a revive syringe. Uh-oh, now he's got to take down the downfired Hardbean. A little bit of a, uh... Can, can Apple, Appleton get him? No, Hardbean is still shooting away with downfire. <laughs> downfire will probably be removed from comp. <laughs> I would kind of hope so. But you know what? You should just, you should fucking give the guy. 58 seconds. Come on, security, get on the safe. I want to see it cracked, damn it. Hardbean finally getting a revive from a Lazarus. He just sat there the entire time. But look at that, though. Rather than tap... Oh, then he gets shot in the face. That's awesome. Um, rather than just instantly tapping out, he does... He does, in fact... Oh! There he goes. Okay, yeah, you gotta make sure you kill Hardbean. <laughs> He's killing your engineers, dude. 25 seconds. We might see a save crack here, guys. This is exciting. Oh, man. Uh, there we go. 12 seconds. Seriously, if we see this thing cracked, this to me spells pretty good. Uh oh, down goes one. Kank's still cutting away. Thunder Muffin doesn't see it. He tries to defend himself. Down he goes. Three seconds, two seconds. It's not going to happen, but man, we got a lot closer. We got a lot 76%. closer. Well done, brothers. Awesome. Okay. The data is wiped and useless to them. But, uh. How did that feel, Matt, just from a from a player's perspective? Uh, I felt like on the second half, it was a little bit spammy on the offense. You actually spawn really close to it on the offense, so you kind of just, at least, having the level of communication that we had, I just sort of ran in there, 
time and time again. And I didn't really like to group up with anyone before just running in there since okay, the so, objective was so in flux. So you feel like maybe with coordination, uh, we all got to take off anyway. You would have had it cracked, you think? Yeah, that was um, so sort of what I'm getting at is because um, I felt like the defense never got like a really good foothold on the objective. All in all, very the educational. offense didn't need to like go move in in a coordinated really matter. Like everyone maps. sort of just ran into the objective as mm -hmm. quickly as they can on both teams, though. So it was gotcha. it was sort of it's kind of hard to make a judgment, but it seemed a little bit right. more spammy because help, you didn't have to no, wait yeah. it out basically. Oh, uh, get your buffs and group up with your team. Sort of just ran in there. See if that doesn't. Even okay. Uh, because you had the slightly quicker spawn, so you wanted to yeah, exploit that as much as possible by running in there really quickly. Yeah. Uh, since we already had a little bit of test on Shipyard, I'm, I'm really curious to see how Reactor plays. All right, so once again, guys, this is yet another test where we are uh, self-imposing a, a, a plus 10 second respawn delay for the defense. Uh, on initial spawn, they were able to run out. stick with one mine, too? Uh, yes, stick with one mine so. uh, per NG and um, one turret per team. Okay. Uh, what was that? That's so sweet. Except Inferno. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, okay, guys. So, so offense plays out normally. Defense, on initial spawn, they do whatever the hell they want. Uh, oh, excuse, and, but then uh, subsequent respawns, they add a 10-second respawn delay. They basically just stand there and spawn, picking their nose, scratching their butts, whatever it is they want to do. Uh, so we are seeing Reactor. This is a very difficult map um, in that, uh, well... I don't think I've ever seen a team that, unless they were completely rolling the other team, get past this objective. So I'm really curious to see how this plus 10 will, will impact this particular map. Right now, a pretty decent uh, attempt, initial attempt here. And it looks like, oh my, 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 look at this resistance. Oh, shit, I forgot. Getting shit done. And we already see a hack. One minute in, guys, and we see a hack. This is fantastic. And the potential defense, if they can take down Pony. My little Pony finally goes down. Good lord. Uh, cheese spread, though, getting the kills. And looks like Resistance will hold on to this. And this is what we want to see. Look at this. They got a chance to set up. They're looking for crossfires, looking for spots to be. Um, continuing the hack here is Appleton B. And this is fucking awesome. Um, I, I'm loving this. Again, uh, what we're hoping for is that this plus 10 equals uh, an opportunity. Oh, hang on a second. Appleton has gone down. And I think he's been gibbed. So, yep, we're, we're seeing a, a potential retake of this objective. Uh, Voke. Still holding it down, though. Matt, as well. Not able to revive the lone operative. So we'll see if we can get back to the objective in time. Um, yep, there it is. So again, the only rules that we're really playing with here, guys, is uh, one mine per engineer, one turret per team, um, no de-hacking of the, the hack objective. And that's it. That being said, look at this Appleton getting a little bit of a medical oven, just running around and continuing his hack. Uh, we are about what 80 percent nearly that's fantastic yeah it's yeah it's close to 80 percent uh just did 80 percent so again Matt, how does this feel just from a player's perspective like oh uh, i feel like we're dominating the other team but okay. it could well, be the well, 10 uh, seconds well, could be we'll have to see on the flip yeah Ooh, i just tossed a real grenade on my teammate instead of a lazarus so that was a new strategy i was also working <laughs> on. yeah i'm a little bothered by the um uh oh, hang on a second. Do we have a? Did you, yeah. Self-revives self okay, right? Or yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Self-revives are okay. Oh. All right, and look at that. We actually have a repair of the bridge access panel. Part of the reason I'm doing badly is I have a giant microphone in front of my face, and it's kind of hard to see around. Well, maybe you should uh, change that. That being said, look at this though. Um, hero hold mode yeah, security. Sure, I'm glad they fixed the sound bug. It said 91%, yeah. so yeah, they came with there like the last minute. Yeah, except yeah. I had no sound. Like, that's awesome, because <laughs> no. I, I was really hoping that we would see an opportunity for security to, to get set up again. So it wasn't, you know, completely uh, domination, you know. 
Um, but the fact that, that right? four, four minutes burned away, Matt, this actually feels pretty good in terms of wanting that yeah. sort of 10-12 minute time. I thought it was just me. Yeah, definitely. Uh-oh. Uh Stepped on the mine with your face. Apple and B is about to get the hack, though. He's trying to defend. No, actually, he, oh, look at that. He gets knocked down. Able to get the kill, and now we should see a completion of this thing. Uh, but, yeah, timing-wise, this feels really good. You know, you said it's domination, but I actually, I feel like this is good. Extreme heat uh, signature detected. It, it was too fast. Controls. Yeah? System emergency. We were on the objective for more than half of that time. Okay. Or is it just that the hack just takes too fucking long? Maybe. Yeah, I feel like I mean we were we were on it for more than half the time we had our objective up. We had, we had five people on the objective, like ninety percent of the time, and they had five people on the objective like ten percent of the time. So. Right, and, and it still took. Yeah, yeah. I hear and you. I felt like they never really contested the objective area that much. Well, they 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 did recover it towards the end. Uh, you for know, a they... little bit though, they they recovered it once and just for a little bit. Right. That being said, you just got shot in the face. I did. After I took down two, though. Yeah, that's true. The third one that's killed true. me with a mine. Yeah. So there's that. But I like how we didn't see an in like an immediate plant, so you know that that's not completely broken. That is good. Yeah. But I think we're gonna really see it come into play again, guys. We're playing with a 10-second respawn delay for the defense. Uh, off of a. Uh, uh, initial spawn, they can do whatever they want, but uh, any subsequent deaths, they need to just chill out. Chillax, if you will. In fact, I'm going to find who are the... Uh, let's see, Appleton is your objective class. I'm going to follow him for a minute. Actually, it looks like this time around you guys are grouping up pretty well. Yes, I do get a revive. Yep, nice little combat buff. Very nice indeed. I mean, like from a, again from a spectator perspective, this is a lot more exciting because I feel like, you know, <laughs> we're getting past the fucking first objective. Ooh, nice work by Appleton, and he's gonna get shot in the face and then knocked down, but now he's uh, planning away. So again, timing-wise, feels feels okay. Feels pretty good. <laughs> See if we can uh, have resistance, or rather, excuse me, have security come in and recover. Though, uh, I think you guys are pretty well set, though. But again, you know, like we're just kind of testing this out. Um, okay, so we're seeing security press in, and there's still 18 seconds remaining. So. You know, if they had a really strong push, that's that's enough time to, to defuse. Of course, the strong the push just isn't strong enough. Uh, it wasn't varied enough, and we're gonna see a detonation. We're gonna see a time set in three, two, one, boom. Twelve fifty. Yeah, twelve fifty on the I clock. You so. to do this. This. this oh man, we just killed fucking yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was a bluff. Seven ten. Yeah. We time to beat. That was too quick. To okay, actually. right. So, I feel so it may have been more of a skill right. thing than a right. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, why I, mean, I was I trying to kind of ask in the beginning if we needed to so do some adjustments the maps, for know? the uh, and for the teams. Like, I'm gonna respond to team speak here. Ten seconds seems to hurt on that map. Yeah, um, Matt and I were just talking about that. We might, you know, again, this is we're just sort of doing some blind testing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I'm also wondering if like maybe the um, there's a bit of a skill difference. So let's go ahead and play this out, uh, just without switching up anything. Because um, what I would essentially like to see, just based on the speed of that cap, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but uh, resistance should be held, um, right? I mean, that, that's kind of the expectation, right? If, you, if the other team is able to set a seven minute time, you kind of expect uh, the offense after the flip to be held. So let's go ahead and play it out. Once again, I want to give some props to everyone that is on this list. I'm going to go ahead and call them out. Uh, we got Voke, Voke V. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that name there. Ooh, if it's... I don't know if we're ready. It says we are, but I don't think we are. Oh, well, then why did people press F3? Uh, I don't know. We got P-Funk hopping in. We've got, of course, Matcom, Biosnark, Hardbean, Inferno, Apocalypse, Pony, Cheese Spread, and Riddick. So big props to these guys uh, for lending a hand 
and uh, giving us a chance to test. Once again, guys, we're doing a plus 10 second respawn delay. Uh, basically handled by the, um, just handled by the honor system. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's when, when, the, when the defense dies, they just stand there scratching their ass for about 10 seconds. Works out pretty well. It just dawned on me that I don't have any sound in my game. Oh. Well, you just, just do a reconnect. You'll hop back in. It's all good. Uh, do I really need sound in my game? Yes, you do. Mm, that's debatable. <laughs> all right. Um, anyway, so uh, initially, Matt, they were saying on TeamSpeak that perhaps 10 is a little bit too high. Uh, and of course, you know, we're just sort of trying some baseline values. We tried five for a couple of naps yesterday. It didn't quite feel good enough. Um, so we're trying 10. 10 felt really good to me, just based on what I saw, for terminal. We have a hat going down. Let me go find where that's happening. I'm oblivious to what's actually uh, going on. It's at 0%. So yeah. if it is, uh, he died almost instantly. He did. Um, but, uh, you know, so 10 felt really good for terminal, I would say. Um, again, you know, we need to really test this with teams. That's what we're going to aim for tomorrow night is, uh, I'm, I'm trying to contact a couple of teams to see if they're willing to, to give a shot to, to roll these, to roll these, uh, settings, these, uh, rules. And again, this is just sort of an honor system type of thing. I want to go find someone on the D and, uh, find when they die. If they die... Wow, vocals picked up three. Fucking Christ. Oh my Jack god. my kills. I'm so pissed right now. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, he, he did. He, he jacked your shit pretty, pretty cleanly. Alright, so yeah, Matt, P-Funk, Voc, and Appleton. I'm just looking for... Yeah, so Appleton, this is why we're seeing him just stand here. Uh, he did respawn. And so he should be moving right about now. There he goes. Just got some new ammo. I'm pretty psyched about that. <laughs> yeah, and it, that's another thing. There have been t times where I'm willing to die just to refill my ammo. Because I know I can get back on the objective in time. So, there's so many tactical things that, in my mind, just come properly into place when you have this extended delay. And again, like I, I, I'm not necessarily for... Uh, just increasing the defense respawn time. I would, in some cases, maybe prefer increasing the offense respawn time so that they have less time to wait. Uh, like maybe a five and five. So um, minus five for offense, plus five for defense. Or uh, maybe it's like I'm not gonna ammo. minus five for offense and plus three for defense. You know, something so that you've got roughly the buffer is what we're looking for. Again, Appleton dead, waiting out. Let's see if we've got anyone else that's dead. Metcom. Oh, Going I didn't kill down. him? No, you knocked him over. Not dead. I know. I thought he was close enough to dying. No. Nope. Wow, that's really surprising. Uh, uh, Matt, Matt, wait. Hold oh, still. Fuck. I know you're not used to dying, but... I know. Yeah. Go, <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to stay in the safe spot. It's all good. <laughs> all righty. I'm out of here. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, you know, again, this is what I actually was hoping to see, because just based on, on the skill differential, um, I I wanted to see uh, this team get held. It, it, In other words, it felt right that, that this team would be held. Yeah, definitely. There is a little bit of difference in skill, um, yeah. as you mentioned. But I guess what, what this game is really showing off is that the 10 seconds... Oh, folks, not supposed to remove that. OD hacking, please. <laughs> Ooh, he made a mistake. Yeah, it's all good. It was only like five. I don't know what ten percent. <sighs> it's all good. Yeah, it was. It was really low. I think it was like six percent. Yeah, that's okay. It's. See, either it's not like he unhacked. Uh, fucking, you know, <laughs> ninety percent or something. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna hop in because we saw his Appleton. So. That'll be We've awesome. been losing people left and right this game. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe people are just having a hard time with their internet connection. I can't shoot shit with uh, shoot with shit with my 30 frames per second, by the way. So this will be pretty terrible. Uh, just I'm just calling that out now for anyone that is um, wondering why I can't aim. 
Uh, let's see, I guess. Uh, my initial spawn, I won't wait. Why am I being shot at? Because people don't like you, Matt. And you know what? There are times where even I don't like you. You know what I found that's really weird? I don't know why I'm taking this route. Uh, is that, um... At 30 frames, it almost feels like slow or something. Really? They, they put up a turret back there? That's pretty funny. Okay, so it's where am I? I'm security. Good go me. Changing mic! <laughs> combat buff there. Good times. Uh, can you guys still hear me? Cheers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is the server slow? Yeah. I remember to wait that chunk. Also, you joined the wrong team. So wait. it's now... Huh? You joined my team. Yeah, th that, that was the guy that dropped. It's it's five v five right now. People. No, it's five v five. Is there a fifth? Oh, I'm just, I'm gonna see four. I I see five. Right, I'm an invisible person, apparently. Yeah. Oh, that's probably what was doing damage to me. I kept getting damage indicators, and I'm like, there is nobody over <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, you, you should reconnect, buddy. It's all good. It's four. funny that they didn't kill me though, but it's kind of bad that I didn't see my enemy. My thing, no, I can't. Holy shit. There we go. Thanks. Aw. Oh, command post buffs are on. Yeah. Again, we're, we're, <laughs> we have it doubled by an engineer, so. Yeah. We, we were actually just trying uh, pretty close to vanilla settings. The only, the only thing, like, we, we're trying to remove the, the spammy stuff. So. Um, you know, I, I understand that obviously in comp, you're not gonna have the current post buffs, that's fine. Um, but, it's all good. Again, this is just sort of a general test. Tomorrow is gonna be where we're gonna have teams. What do you think? Uh, you know, we're actually gonna have all the settings in place, all that good shit, so. Uh, I'm gonna hop out. And I don't think I can call a 4% hack a moral victory. That's pretty tough. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think though just just based on the skill differences though uh, it it kind of made sense that you guys got held so um, can we get maybe some ideas for some of the balances changes we might might be able to do to make the teams more even do you have any suggestions guys I don't Matt I don't and uh, Appleton B made me their spoo you track know I just have some chance because those two have taken our demands <laughs> oh that's awesome I have to repeat that for Matt just so he can hear it.